Hey there everyone, welcome back to Ladder Up in a whole new game. This is Pokemon Sun. So we are talking VGC 2017 rules. Now, the metagame is very early, so a lot of this is just guesstimation from things I saw in Pokemon Showdown. I had some success with this team before I was able to gather everything in game. And I'd like to show it to you because I think it's fun. It's definitely not the best team. Like, for, for instance, I'm not crazy on the Gyarados. The Gyarados, I could I could probably uh, replace it with something better. But for now, it's okay. I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe like a Sil Valley Water. But I haven't figured out. I do like the Intimidate, though. The Intimidate's nice for the few times I actually do bring it. And as you can see, this is my first battle. So I have not battled anyone in-game yet. This is the first one. It's a, I feel honored and privileged to be here. And I hope to bring you guys a ton of VGC 17 content. As Hulk, our, why is our first opponent 1804? That's like literally top of the ladder. Holy Cronola. Okay, um. Uh, crap. A lot of ice. A lot of ice. What to do, what to do. I'm gonna go with the thing I wanna go with. And not really. Honestly, the best option is just go full trick room. Because Marowak destroys this team. And then Clefairy? I guess Clefairy. No, I need I need an attacker. Ugh! Yeah, I see. I want I want a Clefairy, but I think if I stall out my own Trick Room, then uh, Ferramosa is still pretty good here. You guys probably have no idea what any of this stuff does, and um, the idea is okay. So a Rangaroo is your Trick Room setter. It's got Trick Room. It's got uh, it's got Swagger. No, it, it can get Swagger. Mine doesn't have Swagger, but it's got that, and it's got um, Instruct, which and when it uses Instruct on a Pokemon, they, they immediately use the last move. So you can, like, Trick Room and then, uh, like, attack and then uh, Instruct with a Rangaroo to attack basically twice in a row. But here, Tapu Lele, um, its ability prevents uh, Pokemon that are grounded from uh, being hit by priority attacks. And a Rangaroo has the Mental Herb. So a Rangaroo can't be faked out and it can't be taunted. So it's a basically guaranteed Trick Room as long as it can survive whatever move they go for. Here... I want to get rid of this uh, this Nine Tails kind of like now, so I'm gonna psychic into it because it probably won't survive a. Uh, if I can get it off, it won't survive this attack. Aurora Veil. What? Oh, Aurora Veil is like, it's like reflect. It's like a reflect and a light screen, but instead of doubling it, it it only does it by a uh, one half. Or I think it gives it a 50% boost. I think. So you see, normally. That nine tails will not have survived that psychic. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna double dazzling gleam here. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. No, no. Okay, I so I'm gonna dazzling gleam. I'm gonna use instruct on my Tapu Lele, and then I'm going to dazzling gleam with Tapu Lele. So what's gonna happen is, um, Tapu Lele is going to. Actually, no, no. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, and I'm just gonna do it twice. We'll go, we're gonna go for it. Ah, of course he protects. It's so obvious. See, this is why I wanted a dazzling gleam. This is exactly why I wanted a dazzling gleam. But I thought, oh, it's not gonna do enough damage with the uh, with the Aurora Veil. So this kind of sucks. But I mean, what's the Frost Slash gonna do? That's the thing. Blizzard. That's kind of bad. Okay, so now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Instruct again, and then I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. So this, sh this should be a Rangaroo Instruct, a Psychic, and then I get, and then I, imme I immediately Dazzling Gleam after, because on top of that, I think is slower than their two Mons. So yeah, the Psychic knocked out the Ninetales, and 
Oh wait, does wait does Ghost resist Psychic? Cause I did Dazzling Gleam to hit the the Frost Slash, but it might not even I might not even need to. Nope, I didn't need to. I don't think so. I think I think Ghost doesn't resist Psychic, but actually this helps me. I want Top Lily to go down so I can get Marowak in here and start wrecking some lives. I should have one turn of of Trick Room left, right? Yeah. So this is what I'm talking about. So like, I'm stalling out my own Trick Room so that in the end, I can get uh, Ferramosa back in here, which is like the fastest thing in the game, and just destroy lives. How many turns of Trick Room do I have left? I forget how to even check. Oh, uh, Psychic Terrain, turn number two. Two turns left of that. Okay, so I got two turns left of Trick Room. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to do... The question is, which one does he attack with? I'll go under the Glaceon. Okay, good. Thank goodness. I was like, I know he's going to protect with one. Woo! You're not living this. No way. Dude, Alolan Marowak is, like, ridiculously strong. Unless they have a Focus Sash. But that's okay. I instructed. So I should be able to knock it out right here. Yeah, so Focus Sash. I don't care about no Focus Sash. I do take one more point of damage. So, dude, Alolan Marowak under Trick Room with a Rangaroo is broken. It's so strong. Okay, there's this one Pokemon running around right now. It's an Ultra Beast. It's called Celesteela. It's like a Flying Steel type Cresselia. It's very bulky. Everyone's using it. And let me put it to you this way. Alolan Marowak, you pretty much have to give it a Thick Club. It's Flare Blitz on a max HP, max defense, bold, or plus defensive nature for um, Celesteela is a guaranteed one hit KO all the time. It's it's insanely strong. Okay, so he just protected with Frost Slash, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flare blitz into that instruct. And then if Sans <coughs> Ah, if Sand Slash attacks, he's gonna get knocked out. Because I'm gonna instruct him. He's got double protect here. He pretty much has to double protect. But he doesn't. So this person does not care about winning. Which is fine. It's totally fine. Nobody really knows what they're doing, but, I mean, this person was rated 1804. Were we really going to beat this person who's rated 1804? First battle? What? What? Or is the battle spot ladder really that devoid of, like, good teams? I mean, his team didn't look too, too bad. Woo! Woo! Dude, Alola Marowak just picked up... Three KOs by itself. That's it's too strong. It's too strong. The the combo I really wanted to show you, and I'm gonna do another battle. The combo I really wanted to show you was actually Ferramosa and Tapu Lele. I think that's really good. And Ferramosa Clefairy is pretty good too. But Ferramosa Tapu Lele is like it, it it's so threatening. Okay, uh, I don't I don't want to say the battle video. I don't want to say no battle video there. Okay, so I think for the first um, for the first week, I'm going to do double battles. Now, not, not, not double battles. I mean, I'm going to do two battles per episode. So if you guys, you know, want something different, let me know. If you want to stay at one, if you want it to be two battle videos or two two battles per video, let me know. Um, just get that conversation going. We're going to talk about what you want. If you want to see me try and use a certain Pokemon... I will. Um, I just I just picked this out because this is like what I was fiddling and farting around with on Pokemon Showdown. I thought I was all right. Um, I had a pretty good record with it. I think I played like 20 games with it, and I think I lost maybe like three of them, three or four. But then again, metagame's super early. Everyone's kind of just trying to figure out what to do. And also, you know, only I only got up to like 1,300 at one point, so it wasn't really that that high. That's not the point point is we did just beat someone who's rated 1804 oh it's king will Woo, it's my friend that's my friend that's my friend okay um so already uh this is this is uh this is a problem 
What to do? Oh no. I, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the thing I wanna do, and I don't care. I don't care about nothing. I don't care about nothing. Um, or do I? Maybe I do. How do I withdraw? He could snarl. He can. The top of Bulu is the problem. Really. Um, I'll do this. And then I want Marowak, but I also want Clefairy, I think. Yeah. Oranguru is okay, but not really. Honestly, Oranguru is not that great, and neither is Gyarados. I mean, this is this is a tough matchup, but yeah, I'm sure he's gonna text me. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's a uh, yeah. Yo, yo, Will, you are looking great in game, man. I gotta I gotta get my glasses on on point like that. Arcanine Mandibus. I'm fine with this. Oh, I'm fine with this. Uh, uh, Team Skull. Uh, uh, Team Skull. I love the Team Skull um, theme. I think it's great. Okay, Intimidate's a bit of, a, of an annoyance. Um, here, I, I think, though, I'd like to... Um, I don't, I don't like Faramosa in this, in this uh, matchup, so I'm going to get Clefairy in here. I'm going to Psychic stuff. Actually no no I'm gonna I'm gonna dazzling gleam. I want dazzling gleam. Cause I want I want some damage on the mandibuzz too. I wanna threaten the mandibuzz. Mandibuzz! I'm sure the Arcanine's gonna snarl or something here, but I'm fine with that. We might double snarl? I, I don't really know. Foul play. Into the Woo! Okay, thank goodness. That would have taken us down to Focus Sash, I'm pretty sure. Even though we resist. Yeah. Okay. Thing is here, I'm fine with Tapu Lele. I'm thinking he might switch out the... the Mandibuzz into something. So I'm going to... I'm going to Dazzling Gleam again. I, the Arcanine doesn't really threaten me that much. If he goes into Tapu Bulu, it's kind of bad. Okay, he does switch out. It's, can it not be Tapu Bulu? Okay, I'm fine with that. Because it's next turn. I can... Oh, what is that? Oh, crap. I forgot about Z-moves. I forgot those are a thing. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't know what's gonna do. Inferno Overdrive into. It's into Tapu Lele. That's not the worst. Holy crap. Oh, come on! I think here I want to protect. I, I want to get um, Marowak in here. Yo, this this this, this personal clock is like, kind of like getting to me. You know, it's all like, it's all like, hurry, hurry, hurry. The your time clock. Okay, that's what I, that's what I, I thought he might go for protect there. Ah, uh, but the Arcanine, I figure it can like fire move or snarl, but that's not the worst. Yeah, okay, that's not the worst. I mean, this will hurt Marowak a little bit. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, it's a crit. That's why. That's why. And he just protected. So, something's going down here. That Scizor is going to either switch out or it's going to... Something's going to get knocked out here. That's for sure. Because Marowak is too strong. Like, I could Shadow Bone... 
the Arcanine, but I don't really care about the Arcanine that much. Mandibus. Mandibus is going to get knocked out here. He could Snarl again, which is okay. Yeah, he Snarls again. That's yeah, He's just trying to get damage on the Marowak. But I'm not worried about the special attack drop. This is not special Marowak. It's very physical. So he's basically, he's sacrificing his Mandibuzz to get the, um... I think he's trying to stall out the Psychic Terrain is what he's doing. Which is okay. Because I think this turn, I'm gonna, this turn I'm going after the Arcanine. I don't... I, I, if I, the Arcanine, I get the feeling the Arcanine doesn't have Protect because it's got Snarl. It's, it's, it's got that fire move. It's probably got like extreme speed and then I don't, I don't know something else But I'm gonna follow me And I'm going to shadow bone the Arcanine. I think that'll knock it out And I figured that was gonna happen Yeah, attacking into the scissor is too obvious. So here if he wants to snarl, it's okay. I, I Don't know what else he'd go for the fairy avoids, which is okay. It's cool. That's a is that a crit? No. Okay. Well, the friend guard is definitely helping my my uh, my Marowak. That's for sure. That thing's bulky. Oh no, the weirdness disappeared. So what else does he have? He probably has his, his Tapu, right? I need to get rid of the. The Scizor. But I can't lose Marowak. If I lose Marowak, I'm in trouble. I have an idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gonna get that, that thing back up. Switching Tapu. Because Tapu's not doing me a whole lot here, here now. Now that the uh, he's got Scizor, he's got Arcanine it, um and if he, if he doubles into Clefairy, then great. I can Psychic next turn. But this is just to get Psychic Surge back up. And if he knocks out... If he went after Marowak, he knocks out a Tapu Lele. And I can bring Marowak back in. Snarl? Okay. He bullet punched. Here's where the fun begins, everyone. Fermosa makes its debut. And I'm going to I'm gonna poison jab into the Arcanine. In case he switches in top of Bulu for whatever reason. I'll get an attack boost. Because he might want to switch it out to try and intimidate. If he does, I'll be at neutral and I'll have knocked out his top of Bulu. Top of Bulu is a problem. It, 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 I think we're in a decent position right now. Because basically, once we get down to... If we can get down to Scizor and Clefairy, he does withdraw it. Okay, so if we get down to Scizor, Clefairy... Yes! If we call, get down to Scizor, Clefairy, and, and Marowak, I can just follow me and fire move, and we're good. I need to protect Faramosa, because Faramosa, it's got a Focus Sash, so if I would follow me, it's pretty good. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, good, 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 good. So our Psychic Terrain is gone, which is not great. But now we have to knock out the Scizor. If he extreme speeds, will extreme speed bullet punch take out Faramosa? I don't know. Because he might still have like knockoff or something on the scissor. So bullet punch protect. Uh, I don't know. Faramosa will double resist steel. Do I just follow me and go for it? I 
I think I have to. I think I have to get rid of the Arcanine. If he, if he protects the Arcanine, I'm in a bit of trouble. Okay. I figured that would happen. This is why I follow me. He, he went for the he went for the follow me bullet punch. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now, oh, now the fun begins. Does Feramosa have more than half of its HP? This right here means we're plus one. A plus one high jump kick will take out the will take out the Sizzler if we can land it. We just gotta land it. Okay, so now... He probably protects. I think I'm going... Do I, okay, do I want to... Do I, I want to double protect? Scout out his protect? Or could I perish song? No, I can't do that. I'm going to double protect here. Actually, no, I won't. There's no point. There's no point. I have more than half, so it's fine. Okay, that's fine. I guess I should have scouted out his protect, but this is okay. That's fine, because... Basically, he's, he's got it. He's got it. Wait, why did I? Is that some? Is that some from Grassy Terrain? Oh, everyone, everyone restores Grassy Terrain. Oh crap! I didn't realize that. I've never seen Grassy Terrain, so I have no idea. He's, I think he has to go for a double protect. Nope. No, he doesn't go for it. This should take it out. Yep. Plus one, baby. Woo! Good game, Will. That was crazy. Oh my god, that was nerve-wracking. Well played, Will. Very well played. Holy crap. Woo! Yeah, man. So that guys, that's that's it today, guys, for Ladder Up. Um, I hope you liked it. I'm having a great time. If you did like it, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And hopefully, I'll see you back for the next episode of Ladder Up.